Welcome to Laboratory of Dreams. Greetings, dreamers and storytellers, to another enchanting evening at the Lab of Dreams channel. As the twilight wraps its arms around the world and the stars begin their nightly dance, we invite you to join us on a journey of transformation and wonder. Tonight, under the gentle glow of the moonlight, we present to you a special tale, The Reawakening of Mr. Eldridge, a story that weaves the timeless essence of a classic Christmas narrative with the threads of modern day life. And this tale, we will wander through the bustling streets of a contemporary town, a place much like any other, yet unique in its unfolding story. Here, Amidst the clamor of daily life and the shimmering lights of the festive season lives our protagonist, Ethan Eldridge. Ethan, a figure both admired and feared, stands at the pinnacle of success, yet teeters on the edge of a life devoid of true warmth and joy. His world, a fortress of wealth and efficiency, is untouched by the cheer and compassion that Christmas brings. But as the clock ticks and the calendar pages turn towards the 25th of December, a series of extraordinary encounters are set to unfold. Encounters that will lead Ethan down a path of introspection, revelation, and ultimately profound transformation. Settle in, find comfort in the warmth of your surroundings, and let the story of Ethan Eldridge unfold. A story that reminds us all of the true spirit of Christmas and the enduring power of hope and human connection. Welcome to the reawakening of Mr. Eldridge, a modern Christmas tale. In the heart of a bustling town, where the modern rhythm of life pulsated through its streets and avenues, stood a tower of glass and steel, the headquarters of Eldridge Enterprises. This imposing structure, a beacon of corporate success, was the realm of Ethan Eldridge, a man whose name was synonymous with wealth, power, and an unyielding demeanor. Ethan Eldridge, CEO of Eldridge Enterprises, was a figure admired by many for his business acumen, but known by few for anything more. His life was a tapestry of board meetings, financial statements, and solitary evenings, in a mansion that echoed with the quietness of its empty halls. People often whispered about Ethan's past, a mystery shrouded in the shadows of his relentless pursuit of success. As the town prepared for the festive season, with twinkling lights and cheerful decorations adorning every corner, Ethan's world remained untouched by the holiday spirit. His office, high above the town, offered a panoramic view of the winter festivities, yet it might as well have been a world away. On this particular day, the eve of Christmas, Ethan sat in his office, his eyes scanning over a spreadsheet, a frown etching deeper into his features with each passing moment. The clock on the wall ticked away, a reminder of the passing of another year, a year marked by profits and losses, but little in the way of human warmth. As the office began to empty, employees scurrying home to their families and holiday preparations, Ethan's assistant, Bob Cratchit, lingered. Bob, a kind-hearted man with a family waiting at home, hesitated at the doorway, mustering the courage to speak. Mr. Eldridge, sir, Bob began. I was wondering if I could leave a bit early today. It's Christmas Eve and my family... Ethan's gaze lifted from the screen, cold and detached. Christmas, Mr. Cratchit, is just another day, if you must, but be here earlier the day after. There's much to be done. Bob nodded, a mix of gratitude and disappointment in his eyes. He wished Ethan a Merry Christmas before departing, his words lingering in the air, unanswered. The office now stood silent, the town's festive lights twinkling in the distance, 
a stark contrast to the austerity of Ethan's surroundings. He pondered over his life, the decisions he had made, the paths he had chosen. But as quickly as these thoughts came, they were pushed aside, buried under years of indifference and a hardened heart. As the night grew deeper, Ethan remained in his office, the city's festive lights a mere blur beneath him. The chime of the clock marked the end of Christmas Eve, but to Ethan it was just the close of another business day. Little did he know, this Christmas was destined to be unlike any other. For on this night, the threads of Ethan's meticulously woven world would begin to unravel, leading him on a journey of self-discovery and a reawakening of a spirit long forgotten. In the quiet of his office, as the first snowflakes of the evening began to fall, a faint, almost imperceptible sound echoed through the room. It was the sound of a distant bell, signaling the beginning of an extraordinary Christmas tale. As the clock struck midnight, marking the transition to Christmas Day, the town of Evergreen slumbered under a blanket of snow, its lights twinkling like distant stars. In the stark office of Ethan Eldridge, however, the night was about to take an unexpected turn. Ethan, still immersed in his work, was startled by a sudden chill that swept through the room. The air grew colder and a strange, ethereal fog seeped through the closed door. Amidst this fog, a figure began to take shape, glowing with a ghostly light. Ethan Eldridge, the figure spoke, its voice echoing as if from another world. It was Jacob Marley, Ethan's late business partner, now a spectral vision bound in ghostly chains. Ethan, taken aback, could barely find his voice. Marley, but you're... you're dead! Yes, Ethan, in life I was your partner, Jacob Marley, but in death I am bound by the chains of my own making, a consequence of my life's actions, the spirit replied, his face etched with sorrow. Marley's warning to Ethan was clear and foreboding. He spoke of the chains Ethan was forging through his own life's choices, his disregard for others, and his obsession with wealt. You have a chance, Ethan, a chance to escape my fate. Tonight, you will be visited by three spirits. Heed their lessons well, for they are your only hope. As quickly as he appeared, Marley's spirit dissolved into the night, leaving Ethan alone with his thoughts. Was it a dream, a hallucination? Ethan tried to dismiss the encounter, but the chilling reality of Marley's words lingered in his mind. The first of the spirits arrived as the night deepened. The spirit of Christmas past, a gentle and ethereal figure beckoned to Ethan. In the blink of an eye, they were transported away from the office into scenes of Ethan's past. They witnessed a young Ethan, full of hope and dreams, celebrating Christmas with joy and love. They saw his early years in business, the choices that gradually led him down the path of greed and isolation. Each scene was a piece of the puzzle that was Ethan Eldridge, and with each memory, Ethan felt a growing sense of loss and regret. The journey with the spirit of Christmas past was a revelation to Ethan, a stark reminder of the man he once was and the moments that had shaped his life's course. As the spirit faded away, Ethan found himself back in his office, the echoes of his past still resonating in his heart. But the night was far from over. The second spirit, the spirit of Christmas present, was already there, waiting to show Ethan the impact of his actions on those living in the present. In the wake of his journey with the spirit of Christmas past, Ethan Eldridge found himself back in the dimly lit solitude of his office. The memories of his past, tinged with joy and sorrow, lingered in his mind, leaving him unsettled and reflective. He had little time to ponder, however, as the second spirit made its presence known. The spirit of Christmas present appeared as a robust figure, 
radiating warmth and life. Dressed in a cloak adorned with scenes of current Christmas celebrations, the spirit's eyes sparkled with an inviting yet profound wisdom. Ethan Eldridge, the spirit boomed, its voice echoing like a joyous bell. Come and see the world as it lives today, under the shadow you cast. With a wave of its hand, the spirit transported Ethan from his office to the streets of Evergreen. They first arrived at the humble abode of Bob Cratchit, Ethan's overworked and underappreciated employee. Peering through the window, Ethan saw a scene far removed from the grandeur of his own residence. The Cratchit family home was modest, but filled with love and laughter. Despite the modest surroundings, the family shared a Christmas dinner filled with gratitude and warmth. Bob's son, Tiny Tim, frail but spirited, was the center of attention, his laughter a balm to the family's struggles. Ethan watched, a pang of guilt striking his heart. He had never considered the hardships his employees faced, too caught up in his own pursuit of wealth and efficiency. The Spirit of Christmas Present then guided Ethan through scenes of the town, families celebrating, people helping one another, and the joy of community. Everywhere, the spirit of Christmas was palpable, but so was the shadow of Ethan's influence, the strain on faces of those affected by his business decisions, the unspoken hardships endured by his workers. As they moved through the town, Ethan's eyes were open to the lives of those around him. He saw happiness that knew no material bounds and struggles that he had the power to ease. He realized that his wealth and success had blinded him to the simple yet profound joys of life, the joys that truly enriched the human experience. The final scene the spirit showed Ethan was the town square where the festive lights shone less brightly. The community, though trying to maintain the holiday spirit, was impacted by the economic strains Ethan's company had placed on the town. The contrast between the potential for joy and the reality of the situation was stark and eye-opening. As the spirit of Christmas present faded into the night, Ethan found himself back in his office the weight of what he had seen heavy on his heart. The night was not yet over, however, for the most daunting visitation was yet to come, the spirit of Christmas yet to come, the harbinger of what the future might hold if he continued on his current path. In the silence that followed the departure of the spirit of Christmas present, Ethan Eldridge sat in his office, a man shaken to his core, the warmth and joy he had witnessed in the lives of others stood in stark contrast to the cold isolation of his own. Lost in these reflections, he barely noticed the arrival of the third and final spirit. The Spirit of Christmas Yet to come was a somber figure, shrouded in darkness, its presence more felt than seen. It pointed a spectral hand toward Ethan, beckoning him to follow. With a sense of foreboding, Ethan rose and accompanied the spirit, stepping into a world unknown. They first arrived at a future scene of Tinselton, but it was drastically altered. The vibrant town he knew was now subdued, its festive spirit dimmed, shops were closed, streets were empty, and a palpable sense of loss hung in the air. Ethan was then shown a series of visions, his own company, now failing, its employees despondent, the Cratchit family, their warmth and resilience broken by greater hardships, and Tiny Tim's health severely deteriorated. The spirit revealed the consequences of Ethan's continued neglect and apathy, a future where his legacy was one of sorrow and ruin. The most chilling vision was the last. Ethan was led to a neglected gravesite overgrown and forgotten. The spirit pointed to a tombstone, and as Ethan approached, he saw his own name etched into the stone. It was a stark revelation, 
In his pursuit of wealth and success, Ethan had isolated himself from the world, leaving behind no lasting positive impact. Overwhelmed by grief and regret, Ethan pleaded with the spirit, Spirit, please tell me these events are not set in stone. Tell me I can change, that I can alter this path. The Spirit of Christmas Yet to come, silent as ever, offered no response. It faded away into the night, leaving Ethan alone with the haunting images of a future that might be... As dawn began to break, Ethan found himself back in his office, the visions of the night still vivid in his mind. He realized that he'd been given a second chance, an opportunity to change his ways and forge a new path. With a newfound determination, Ethan made a vow to himself. He would transform not just his attitude towards Christmas, but his approach to life. He would become a man who valued people over profits, who sought to make a positive impact in the lives of others. As the first light of Christmas morning filtered through his office windows, Ethan Eldridge felt as if he had awoken from a long slumber. The haunting visits of the spirits had ended, but their lessons remained, etched deeply in his heart. With a newfound resolve, Ethan set out to not just right his wrongs, but to embrace a life filled with compassion and keenness. His first act was to address the needs of his loyal assistant, Bob Cratchit. Arriving at the Cratchit household, Ethan was met with surprise and apprehension. He quickly dispelled their concerns with an announcement of increased wages for Bob, a generous bonus, and his commitment to assist with Tiny Tim's medical care. The joy and relief on the family's faces were more rewarding than any business deal Ethan had ever struck. Ethan's transformation extended beyond the Cratchit family. He spent the day visiting employees, offering support and understanding, and sharing in their Christmas celebrations. Each visit was a step towards mending the bridge between him and those his decisions had affected. The town of Evergreen itself felt the impact of Ethan's change. He made generous donations to local charities and volunteered his time and resources to community projects. The cold, distant figure, once known to the town, was now a person of warmth and generosity, actively involved in the lives of those around him. As the day progressed, Ethan found himself at the town's Christmas festival, now a celebration he eagerly participated in. The people of Evergreen, initially skeptical of his sudden change, soon welcomed him with open arms as they witnessed his genuine efforts to connect and contribute. The festival was a vibrant tapestry of laughter, music and community, a stark contrast to the lonely Christmas Eves of Ethan's past. He realized that true joy came from being a part of something bigger than oneself, from the connections forged with others. As the festival drew to a close, Ethan stood in the town square, surrounded by the cheerful bustle of Evergreen's residents. He looked up at the stars twinkling in the night sky, a feeling of peace settling over him. He had found a new purpose, a new path in life, one filled with the spirit of giving and compassion. Ethan Eldridge's reawakening was not just a change of heart, but a rebirth of his soul. He had learned that the true spirit of Christmas lay in the joy of giving, in the warmth of community, and in the power of redemption. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the end of Christmas Day, Ethan knew that his journey had just begun. A journey towards a life where every day carried the spirit of Christmas. A spirit of love, kindness, and a deep connection with those around him. As our journey through the reawakening of Mr. Eldridge comes to a close, we at the Lab of Dreams channel want to extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you 
for joining us in this magical tale of transformation and redemption. It has been a journey, not just through the streets of Evergreen, but through the very heart of what makes the Christmas spirit so enduring and special. If you've been touched by the story of Ethan Eldridge and his journey towards discovering the true meaning of Christmas, we encourage you to explore the other enchanting narratives in our Christmas series. Each story is crafted with care, meant to inspire, uplift, and fill your hearts with the warmth of the holiday season. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lab of Dreams channel for more captivating tales. Your subscription is a gateway to a world of imagination, where each story is a unique adventure waiting to be experienced. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications of our latest stories, ensuring you never miss a moment of magic. As we bid farewell to Ethan Eldridge and the town of Evergreen, we invite you to unwind and reflect with our selection of relaxing music. Let these soothing melodies be the perfect accompaniment to your thoughts, or allow them to gently guide you into a peaceful and restorative sleep. Thank you once again for joining us on this extraordinary tale. Until we meet again in another story, we wish you serene dreams and a heart full of the Christmas spirit. Goodbye, dear friends, and may the magic of storytelling continue to light up your world.